It says we're live. I think maybe it happened. <laughs> oh, so nervous. I was like, ah, it's nine o'clock. Is it gonna lock us out? I did have one more thing I wanted to grab. So I wanted to ink up the Curiosity pens. Oh, yeah. We got a bit of some of the new sailor inks over there. So maybe we could do a little of that. Oh, and I need paper too. Okay, whatever. <laughs> We're not really prepared, but hey, here we are. All right. Hello, Darwin. Would you recommend a quill nib for someone who primarily just journals? Like the Penhider pen quill? Because that is a fun nib. Yes. It's a great um, everyday recommend. writer. It's got, you know, some give to it, but I really like that nib. Yes, that is a Jake Weidman. That is called Old Man and Sea. Yes, indeed. Our dining room. <laughs> Jake is my... Man crush. Man crush, yes. Bestie. <laughs> They're friends. <laughs> brother brother from another mother, <laughs> as they would say. Yeah, I really enjoy the Penider Quill. It's it's just a fun everyday writer. Yeah, it's a good one. So welcome to Write Time at Nine, for those of you here. Yes, um, Crystal. Um, so we're here to talk pens, answer your questions, and show you some stuff, maybe. Um, you know, depends what you want to see. Yes, we plan planned tonight's right time with two bullet points about what we wanted to talk about. Uh, obviously, this is a live broadcast uh, as we're recording this, so you all can ask us whatever you want here in the chat. We'll publish this later for everybody who can't join us live. Um, but we thought, uh, you know, we'll just keep this thing going for a little bit. No firm commitments on this, but we thought, you know, if y'all are showing them up and enjoying it and, and uh, still having a good time, then we'll keep doing it. Why not? Uh, we're here anyway. So um, we have a couple things to show. So we have the uh, Platinum Curidas. That's the new clicky, clicky pen. We showed it last week, but we didn't write with it. We didn't write with it. We can give you a shipping update. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. We can talk about that. And then we have the, uh, we swapped with the Lummi Mango ink. So Which can... is arriving tomorrow. Yeah. Um, the tracking says tomorrow. So we'll have the Safari Candy and the Mango ink tomorrow. Um, but of course, you know, stuff happens in transit, so we never know. But right. we're planning on launching tomorrow. Exactly. Um, so there we go. So uh, let's start off with the Lamy Mango because you have it right there, and we can talk about that. Yeah. And so we'll just um, questions in I, I got one bottle that I sent to our photographer. Um, so there are some pictures up on the site. But I did do a quick um, ink review before I mailed it to him. So, uh, Lamy Mango is an orange, uh, definitely leans, you know, orange yellow, um, has some very nice shading to it. Oranges are tricky because sometimes they're too light and you can't really see them well. I don't know if you can this see one, in though. the writing, there's some nice shading. I don't, I don't think it's coming across well in the webcam. Yeah, the webcam quality of our live stream is going to be basically the worst visual yeah. representation of an ink you can possibly get. But there, there's a lot of, <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of shading, not waterproof, but I wouldn't expect it to be. No. Um, but it's a really nice orangey yellow. It's very legible, which I was relieved because sometimes when you hear about yellow ink, you know, some yellow inks you can't read. Yeah. So this is on a uh, Rhodia dot pad. So. Now, do you have any problem with the fact that it's called mango, but it's basically orange? It's really like tangerine. If you think about um, the fruit mango, yeah. it's really not orange. No. It's really a yellow. Yeah, but mangoes are yellows that lean orange. as suppose like lemons. Lemons are like true yellow. True. So I get what they were going true. for. Now, the, the pen itself, do you have the pen? I do. Can you get it out real quick? It's over at my desk. I brought a hundred pens with me and I left so I both say, the ink, a writing I, pad, and the three pens that you're talking about. Because the pen I feel there. like is more yellow oh, that goodness. leans orange. The yellow it feels more accurate to a mango fruit, whereas the ink they went a little orange. But again, I'm relieved because this is legible. Uh, again, there you go. He's getting the pen. Um, I'm going to answer a question real quick. Hello, is the leave a note section on the order page where you would leave a special request such as having a pen inspected or is that done through email? Yes. So if you leave a note there when you check out, um, we see that and we will take action on that. We read all of them. And if we need to do something, we do it. And if you just want to use that note to be able to say hi, that's cool too. We read all of it. Um, da, 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 da. Options for VP converters is the one it comes, the one it comes with leaves me covered in ink. Um, so the VP uh, comes with a Con 40. 
Um, there are some discontinued converters. It fits the Con 20 or the Con 50. Does it fit the squeeze, the Con B? Have you ever tried? In which pen, in sorry? VP, in the VP, the vanishing point? It will fit, but it's, uh, it's just a tiny bit shorter than a regular mm. converter, I think. Um, but it'll work. It'll function. Yeah, but your options are pretty limited with, with uh, the Pilot VP for sure. Yeah. So um, where's the pen? It's right there. Oh. <laughs> so here is the Mango pen. With I the will ink. say the pen itself looks very true to the flesh of the mango That's fruit. That's what I was saying. But the ink the color is, is a little more. The ink color is a little more orange. Yes. Um, and again, you got your violet and your aquamarine. Now that said, I would prefer to have this color ink than this color yellow. Ink. I said the same thing. I wasn't listening. I cannot <laughs> listen and do something at the same time, as Rachel can attest of eighteen plus years of being together. Yeah. Yeah. Still very fitting, and I love mangoes. One of my favorite fruits. So they are quite good. Excites me very much. They have changed our taco nights. I'm telling you. Yes. Game Fresh mango game changer on your taco. Anything is kind of the best. It pretty much is. They're really good if for you, you. If you like meat with like sweet things, some people are very adamant about not having sweetness near their meats. I disagree. I think sweet meats is the best thing basically ever created. Um, someone asked for a shipping update. So unchanged from last week, we are still not in the office. Um, we are waiting for Virginia's curve, uh, the peak of the virus to pass, which they're projecting is the end of April. Um, we are basically waiting on guidance for the governor as far as non-essential businesses and guidance as far as what is required, who needs to wear a mask, how often does it need to be changed, you know, just what are the protocols and things like that. Can you even get masks? Um, right. Um, so there's, so a lot of like, yeah, there's, there's a lot of guidance still needed about how to safely operate. And uh, just this morning, our governor extended the closure of non-essential businesses. Through May 10th. Through May 10th. We're in so a stay-at-home order through June 10th. But it, so it's this weird, I would expect sometime between May and June, we would start with a skeleton crew um, and start mm -hmm. catching up on shipping. Um, and I would expect by June, we'd be fully back to normal you know, after the stay at home it's order is lifted. It's, it's, I'm hesitant to even say those, exactly. Those, that's what I'm projecting. Yeah. Like by the time the stay at home order is lifted, I would imagine we'd be back to work and stuff, but I just don't mm -hmm. know. So we are waiting, we want to be safe. Um, you know, you guys know what's going on out there in the news. I'm not going to rehash it all. Um, but we're trying, to be, great. we're trying to be safe. It's not great. So um, I'm really sorry. I wish we could ship. I really, really do. Um, but we have to, be safe first yeah. for our team's sake. Um, so getting back to questions, um, and yes, you can place an order on our site. We reserve the products for you and we will ship as soon as we are able. Um, so we still appreciate any help you give us right now as we try to keep our small business up and running. Um, back to questions. What Lots are good both comments. of your opinions? Thank you, Melly. Thank you for uh, Rohit Pid. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but y'all's support has been great. We've gotten so much supportive feedback about our decision to and we also closed right completely now. understand other people are shipping and if you really want a pen and you want it sooner go support anyone because we're all small but like frankly other than amazon we're all small businesses this entire industry found all the fountain pen retailers small, small business yeah so whether you're online or brick and mortar we're all we're all small Susan says my hair looks good today. He Thank did. You, he Susan. did trim the back. It, it helped. I trimmed it up it a little bit. It was getting a little like ducktail. Yeah, it was getting a little like lost in the woods kind of look. Um, but it's still it's pretty. Very, uh, it's very bushy. It's at the point now where I can no longer gel it forward because the gel is just like so. I, I have to part it, and I don't have a natural part. So my hair is like, what are you doing to me? I want to do whatever I want, and it's. Uh, you're trying. Um, I'm going to answer some questions. What are both of your opinions on the Lamy Safari Violet or Dark Lilac? Which do you prefer? You didn't bring your Dark, black, dark Lilac. Home, did you? I don't know if I brought that one because I already had some good Safari. They're very similar, but um, the new Violet leans a little more blue, yeah. whereas the Dark Violet is a little more. Um, it's darker. It's darker. Yeah. Dark Violet. Uh, versus violet <laughs> or dark lilac versus violet um yeah. 
you're saying words and I'm, they're not registering properly. Um, this is a little more blue. We actually do have on our blog a comparison picture of the two side by mm -hmm. side. And um, I show it in the video too. I show it next to it. I really like this one. I'm going to have to grab it. Do you this. like it better than Dark Lilac? I might. I don't know if I like it better. I need to see them again side by side. I need to see it again. It's darker. It's more like a dusty purple as opposed to this, which is more of a vibrant. Which I like. Violet. I mean, isn't that I could my, see you liking my that Elmo right there? This is your Elmo. Yeah, I've been so writing. It's a little magenta. It is. It is. It is a little magenta. You can magenta. tell, even in this terrible video, you can tell that that is more it did, pink. The Pantone, it did turn out a little more magenta than I had hoped, but it, I still like it. Right. Um, but I've been writing with a very vibrant pink. Uh, Diatrimensis Magenta Violet is my go to purple. Um, or they call it purple violet now. I can't name change. And I just looked at the light and I'm seeing spots. Scott says, I think I like Rachel all. knows all the pens that are still on your desk. No. I literally have a I can't keep track of this man's pens. I can barely keep track of my I have, I have a spreadsheet for all my pens. <laughs> We're not normal. Um, okay, a couple other questions. When will the Banu Scepter be available to order? Great question. I expect the end of April, maybe May, but customs has been super delayed lately, you know, because all the things. Pandemic. Um, it's not in the U.S. yet. We do have some but scepters I would, here. We yes. show. Can we show them like two episodes ago? Did we show them? We did. I can't remember. I know. It's hey, okay. Adrian. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, Crystal. Uh, yeah, so I would expect the end of this month or early May we'll have the Banu Scepter. We have a new partial payment option. What is this? So it's more of an installment plan option. Um, it's a buy now, pay later type thing. So we partnered with a firm um, and it basically allows you to uh, check out, um, pay no money up front, but then make your order payment in monthly installments. And they have like, most of them are three month plans, but if you, there are some, if you get more expensive six and 12 month plans, the three month has 0% APR interest. So there's no interest. You're literally just deferring your payments and spreading them out into three. Um, the six and the 12 month do have, um, interest, but it's a great option. If you, um, I will never ever advocate, advocate, advocate. Why does that word sound weird? Advocate. Yeah. Advocate. That's right. Yeah. I will it didn't never, sound weird. I don't it sound it. weird coming out of my mouth. I'll never advocate for getting into debt over pens. Um, no. And the reality is you could get into debt Honestly. using your credit card. But it's basically, it allows you the flexibility to spread out your uh, your cash flow. Um, or mm -hmm. if you're like, man, I really want this thing on Thursday, but I don't get paid till Friday. Um, but it's going to sell out quickly. Could be a really mm -hmm. good option for you. And you can always pay yeah. it down early. Um, and again, with no interest, it's it's really just a method of spreading out your payments. So, um, so yeah. Sarah, Sarah here asks, you know, how does a firm work on the back end? I think it's an interesting question, and I think it's relevant because you're seeing it pop up on a lot of e-commerce stores. Well, and so everyone's like, how can there be no fees? How do they make their money? They there are fees. They we charge, pay the fees. They charge us a transaction fee. So, so it's, it's a little more expensive for us than you guys using a credit card or PayPal. Yeah. But the theory is if you buy a larger order, then we benefit from that too. So we're trying it out. We're well, going to see how it goes. And the benefit to us as a retailer. We do get paid up front. We get paid up front, just like it was a credit card transaction. And they take on all the, they risk, take the risk of fraud and you know non-payment and stuff like that. So, so you check out through our site. We settle with them, they pay us, deduct our fees, and then you're paying them your monthly installment. Yeah. So we're removed from that. And if you return it or refund, you know, all the money goes where it needs to go. Yeah. So, so um, it's kind of a win for everybody, really. If all goes smoothly, you know. Um, so we're trying it out. You know, again, it's 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 another option. It's not you're never forced to do it. I'm not pushing like it, but, yeah. But um, it's but there. it is an option. It's it's less, I guess, like of a credit hit or whatever that a credit card. It doesn't, hit. it doesn't hit your so it credit. It do, they don't, it doesn't hit your credit score. Yeah. Um, unless you like default on your loan, if you, for whatever reason, don't pay them, yeah. then, you know, they probably report it to the credit bureau. I think Experian is the one they use, but it is, if you get a quote or you even take out a loan, it doesn't touch your credit score. Yeah. So it's, it's only a, if you, you know, yeah. so it, it's, it's a, it's another Avenue. It's a newer form of, financing, I guess, but yeah. it's not as not quite as invasive or as much a commitment as a credit card. So the program. why behind it was we've been asked actually by customers for something like this. There's a lot yeah. of different services out there, Afterpay, Klarna, Sezzle, there's there's a lot. Um, and we yeah. talked to all the different ones and we, we settled on a firm to start out. I think it's, um, I think it's because, um, I don't know if there was like some specific legislation or something like that, but really just in the last couple of years or last year, really, this type of financing has become popular to become a number of different companies that have opened this up. 
as yeah. an option. So, so we, we did it in response to customer demand. And I think, yeah, like like a uh, survivor guy says, like if it's a limited edition item easier, like we've heard that a lot. There's mm-hmm. certain products that sell out very quickly. Yeah. And sometimes your payday might not, like you will have the money for it, but maybe mm-hmm. not that day, but you will have it the next day. So that it's a flexible option yeah. for that. But we still support only buy things that you can afford. <laughs> Always like, make sure you have the money. Don't That's, get in a debt over pens. Yeah. It's not worth it. But if it helps to spread it out a little bit and it doesn't cost you any more, mm-hmm. then it's, it's an option it's up to you. But still, it's read the fine print. It, you're you're making an agreement with that payment processor, just as if you were to sign up for a credit card or something. Um, you should always understand what it is you're doing. Anyway, a couple more questions. When sure. will we find out who your new brand is? Um, we're going to launch this new brand when we're back to shipping. Oh, Rachel, you teased it too early. We're just not ready to announce it yet. So there is a new brand that we're working on. It's a luxury on. brand. It'll it's, be when we uh, resume shipping again. Yeah. A um, few weeks. A few weeks. weeks. Have we played with a Sailor Zoom nib? Ha, I thoughts? brought my Sailor nibs because I thought we might get asked about them. And then a related question that I'll answer while you're pulling it out. When mm-hmm. production resumes, will you start carrying the sailor specialty nibs? Um, not at this time. Those are reserved for bespoke retailers. We are not uh, a bespoke at this time, but you never know down the road. Yep. Um, so we just have the seven, um, extra fine, fine, medium, fine, medium, broad, zoom, and music. So, so I have a Zoom on me. I really so don't re- know how much I'm going to be able so to show So refresh everybody. Up. What is a Zoom nib, Brian? So I don't know how well you can really see this, but it's not so terrible. Um, <laughs> you can see there's this huge glob on the end um, of the <laughs> tipping material. Tipping, yeah. Um, so essentially, this this is a giant glob, sort of as if you were to have like a double or a triple broad. There's that much tipping on there. But it's ground so that when you have it at high angle, you get a very fine line. Mm-hmm. Like I'm going to show you right here. I'm going to have a very fine line. Woo! So like, look how fine that is. It's pretty fine, right? <laughs> and then when you have it at a low angle like this, <laughs> look how fat that is, right? So you can literally, depending on, this is really awkward to do, but I only have one camera angle to work with. So if I'm holding it really high up, okay. And then if I go lower, look how much wetter and broader the this is the most awkward way to possibly <laughs> possibly write, but you can you can change up <laughs> the writing angle. I look like I'm having a stroke, <laughs> but I'll just say that. but that's, I don't want to be insensitive to people that have actually that. had a stroke. But um, anyway, so you get the idea here. You can get no sailor does not fine. use the phrase giant glob in their marketing. Company. No, they do not, and <laughs> I might be actually running out of ink on this one. So, but either way, you get the idea. Uh, I think it's fun as heck. I think it's kind of like a flex nib. It's like if you are looking for that variation and for you're looking to practice and try and learn kind of a new technique, um, then it can be a lot of fun. If you just want to write in the way that you write and that's it and you don't want to change it up, then maybe it's not going to be as relevant for you. It's going to have to be be something that you want to practice, that you want to mess around with. What's up, bud? Kind of lonely. lonely. What's going on, bud? Okay. Oh. All right. We're just gonna go help our son. Um, so anyway, so a lot of fun. I think it's cool just because the Zoom nib is something that uh, I've only ever seen through Sailor. So uh, it's a, it's a unique offering that they have, and um, it's always kind of cool when you can have, you know, kind of a varied writing experience within a single pen. And I think you know if you're trying to get. Uh, writing variation like within a word or a phrase, it's not as natural as it would be to have either a stub or a flex nib. Because when you're having to adjust your writing angle like this, like if you're trying to get a line variation within a word and having to do this, super awkward. Like it's it's only it's only useful if you are going to be keeping it at a writing angle and then like changing it and then keeping it relatively consistent from like one line to another or something like that. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what I think about the zoom, but I think it's incredibly unique and fascinating. And I just am very intrigued by unique nibs like that. So I'm a big fan. Um, okay. Let's see here. I don't have Rachel now. So my, (laughs) my attention needs to be on the chat. Uh, okay. Robert says, with Barbara's clothes, are you going to go shag or back to the buzz of old? No, I have no plans to go back to the old buzz cut. That was out of necessity, partly because I um, 
well, I was cutting my own hair back then uh, consistently. That was really to save money and time uh, when we had neither. Uh, so that's why I did it that way. But since I've grown it back out about five years ago, I have enjoyed it thoroughly and I'm going to keep it longer. Hi. Oh, we got some visitors here. Hi. Hey there, new this littles. This is Bernie, my favorite stuffed animal. I still sleep with him every night. <laughs> you got him when you were 11 months old. Mm -hmm, on my first Christmas. And Daddy has bunny ears. <laughs> I've slept with him ever since. Yep. Except in the few times. No, except in the few nights here and there where I didn't have him. <laughs> yep, Bernie's been an old standby for. Oh yeah, one time I was actually. Years? One time I actually had to. Um, sleep without Bernie, and then when I woke up in the morning, a while later, I went to my parents' bedroom and I saw him on the floor somewhere. Oh. My clock was missing, then the Tooth Fairy came! Oh guys, we're gonna ask, what are your favorite pens? Ooh. The Tooth Fairy my came and then brought my clock! <laughs> it was under my pillow! Oh. What is my favorite pen? That is a yeah. good question. Um... Mm -hmm. Does that count as a pen? A lollipop? No. <laughs> shark pens? Aww. The shark pens. What color yeah. is shark pen? Yellow. Yeah. Yellow is my favorite color. And why do you like yellow? Um. Many reasons. Like what? Um, like Pikachu, like mm -hmm. Ocelot in Minecraft, mm -hmm. like. I like what you <laughs> Like <laughs> cheese on pizza. Mm. A lot of good uses for yellow. <laughs> and vanilla cake. And cupcakes. Yeah, I guess so. What's your favorite right. color and shark pen? Um, pink, purple, and blue. Pink, purple, and blue. My favorite colors, too. Cool. I like the pie pen. Family like relationship. Are you going to eat me? Yes. Don't eat me. <laughs> All right. You guys go read. Okay? Okay. All right. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye people! Bye. <laughs> They're too much. I'll explain later. Okay. Survivor guy says, and now I want cake. Same year. That's almost a <laughs> Does it um read to universal talk about, feeling does the zoom right upside down as well? Does it write upside down, like flip the pen over? Mm -hmm. Flip the nib. Uh yeah, it does. Um fine let me line. see. It's a finer line for sure. I would say it's pretty comparable to like when you have it more held up, right? Here, I'll just try and show like a 90 degree, 90 degree, and then uh, upside down. He's writing. I am. Gosh, I'm, I feel like it's writing dry. I think I might be running out of ink. Yep. Am I? Yeah, dang it. This isn't going to Do you have the other one? An accurate I might. Yeah, let me do that one. Yeah, sorry. I just... Uh, not in there. No, it's in this pen case. I've got like pen case madness going on. A little on right dry there. reverse, but still usable. Maybe depends on the ink. Maybe. Yeah, it probably will depend. Not all nibs are designed to be written with upside down, but this the zoom no, the zoom yeah. does well. Yeah. All right, let's see here. So I've got uh, black ink in this one. Oh, gosh, and it's been I've had ink in here for probably four months. Need to so get it started again. Uh, are there ways to make I'm failing. A, are there ways failing at life? Reading question. Are there ways to make a pen write wetter but not wider? Wetter but not wider. Um, Opening up the feed. Uh, that's that's risky. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's like, no, you don't know that's, what you're talking about. No, that's not. That's that's not a thing. I mean, opening up the feed sounds simpler than it is. I know. You need to like carve out the feed channel which is so easy yeah to sailor up. does have proprietary cartridge converters they do um to answer the upside down nib question it's a, it's essentially very similar to when you hold it very upright so if holding it upright is super awkward if you want to flip it over and write with it at more of like a 45 degree angle then that's going to be a better bet for you um someone asked if our kids are going to work at the Gooley pen company they they do write about that in school like when mm. i grow up i want to work at the Gooley pen company joseph doesn't want to run it like he's very much a behind the scenes like he wants to like test pens or like i could see him doing like nib mastering when he's older he's very into like legos and tinkering and engineering precision of course he also wants to be like you know a video game person i mean every oh, every boy at that age i wanted does. to be a video game tester when i was a kid ellie i can see her doing the videos um when she was little she'd get those lols and like she'd make her own like unboxing videos we never actually posted them to youtube we just 
told her we were, but she'll, she'll record herself. She's and got she's, a bit of a personality if you hadn't She noticed. bosses her older brother around, so I could see her running this thing one she day. She bosses us around. I could see her doing her own thing, too, honestly. Yeah. We're not, we're not forcing them into this. We're young. We'll, we'll be running this for a while. Yeah. Any tips on sorry. how to use... I didn't, I didn't fully answer this oh, question. I sorry. thought it deserves a better answer. Can her pen write wetter but not wider? Yes, sort of. So anything that puts down more ink, depending on the paper, if you have more ink, it has a tendency to spread more, which is going to make it seem wider. So you have to have paper that's not really going to absorb the ink very much. Then technically, yes, you can have it wetter to a point before it'll get wider. Um, it takes a little bit of finesse and experience to be able to do that with a nib, to be able to increase the flow without, you basically have to like, kind of widen the slit, which requires some maneuvering. Um, but then the tip has to still kind of come to the same point, if that makes sense. So the answer is not easily. It's not, it's possible, but it's not something that like you could probably so easily figure out on Yeah, And own. honestly, the ink makes a big difference. Um, so there's dry yeah. inks and wet inks. So trying a different ink is uh, honestly the best way. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and some inks have even lubricating properties to help them kind of write wetter. Yeah, in fact, Softball here says, uh, how about an ink with lubricant to get wet? Okay, yeah. Um, so that's an option. I know other people that add glycerin to their ink. Which like a is, drop. You know, and it's a, like, I guess you can buy glycerin, like concentrated glycerin. I've never actually tried it before, but I know other people that have. Um, and I but Monteverde like, has an additive that helps with lubrication properties. Mm -hmm. uh, the Noodler's Eel series Eel are lubricated. Eel series are more lubricated, yeah. And there's others that I know are. They just don't like call it any like specific sure. thing. Um, but for sure, you can tell the difference when you're using some inks versus others, which ones are definitely feel more lubricated than others. Um, but you can add that glycerin as a thing. I've heard of other people that even add like dish soap. Now, I don't know how that like affects other things, yeah. but I believe there's probably glycerin in the dish soap. That's probably a, a similar thing. Um, let's see. How's Drew doing? He's good. He's watching his uh, He's doing good. kindergarten, first grade, kindergarten, kindergarten, right? First I believe grade. it's kindergarten. Oh, gosh. Kindergarten. Either way, his elementary young, school is his, his young son, so he's figuring all the things out just like we all are. Drew's got a pretty good point, though. He's, he's, good. he's balancing a lot, yeah. Yeah, he's doing well. Mm -hmm. um, any tips on how to use fountain pens more in your daily life? Um, so, kindergarten, no, Adrian confirmed. Kindergarten, yeah. I was That's like, what I thought. I thought so too, but I was like, has it, has it been? I don't know. Like time is just not happening you not right now. not have a good sense of <laughs> what what's day? happening and Yesterday, when. Yesterday, I thought we were doing this broadcast. I thought it was Wednesday and we are doing the broadcast. She legitimately did because I created the link for this thing yesterday morning. And I guess that felt like something that I, I wait until I the day of to do. Well, I drafted the email and I sent myself oh. the draft yesterday. I don't know. I just got all off. We're really off. Yeah. Um, I, oh, tips on how to use fountain pens more in your daily life. So um, making to-do lists um, is something that, you know, because you can use an app, you can use your computer, but writing out like your daily to-dos, um, grocery lists, things like that. Um, journaling, highly recommend it right now. Especially journaling right now on. is great. Um, let's see what else you can do. Ink reviews. So that's been fun. You know, test out all your inks, um, put them in different pens. Um, what are other ways you can use your fountain pens in daily life? Uh, you can write letters to people because yes. that's a cool thing to Good do right letters, now. Yeah. And I heard, I don't know how true it is, but USPS is hurting right now because there's a lot. I mean, think about like us. So we'd normally be mailing out a lot of packages right now. We're Absolutely. not. So they have a revenue shortage. So they're encouraging people to like buy stamps and send letters. But I've also yeah. heard that the drivers are like really busy right now because a lot of people are ordering online. So it's, I don't yeah. know. But writing letters is a really cool thing to do. Yeah, definitely. Other, other fountain pen usage you can think of? Um, you've mentioned a lot of really good writing ones. out recipes, um, what kinds of stuff? Yeah. Um, I think any like trans quotes. transcribing, like any inspiring literature that you have mm -hmm. quotes, any types of like, you know, historical documents that you find inspiring or relevant poems, you know, any type of scripture from your given, you know, inspirational place. Uh, <laughs> We're trying to be very, trying to cover, cover all bases all the here. Um, but yeah, I mean, just, you know, even, even just copying over things can be great. Work, work on your handwriting. Um, you know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of, uh, templates you can download or, you know, books out there. Sorry, we can't ship right now, but they're out there. Um, or, you know, try a different font, like try to, you know, like 
try different handwriting styles. That can be fun. Yeah. There's a lot of like hand lettering, like YouTube videos and stuff like that, that uh, not that we produce, but there's other ones that are out there. That we are, we haven't um, done a lot of those yet because we don't feel like handwriting experts. It's it's going to be coming though. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the need to do, do some more of that kind of stuff. We're going to have to like partner up with somebody and do that. Um, but as we're getting more in the habit of doing remote stuff, I think partnering with people remotely is going to be more of a thing. Can I say anything about auditions or auditions of the year? Um, there will be this year. Yes, there will be special editions. Um, yeah. Um, and later this year. And I can't even tell you when because production schedules are all whack oh, out yeah. now because like, of even what we were originally told we have no idea so and like the um custom 845 someone mentioned they asked what nip sizes it'll be available in hey um i don't remember if i need a breath did you close the bottom of it and turn it to inflate but the, the thing at the bottom has to be closed too all the way what thing at the bottom there's a valve at the bottom on the other She's side trying to inflate an air mattress. I don't know what that is. So you know where it turns on? No. Where it plugs in into the air mattress. Yeah. And there's a thing and it says inflate or deflate. Make sure it's on inflate. And then on the Oh, so that's why there's a little air and it was kind Rachel of could have just gone up there and fixed it by this point. But we're you, trying to you teach, could have as well. We're trying to teach and Ellie, on the other end of the air mattress at the bottom. There's a thing that opens and closes. Make sure it's closed all the way. Oh, I closed it before I started. Okay. But the other thing needs to be on inflate. All right, give it a shot, dear, and then let's And make know. sure you turn it off when it's all the way inflated. We are learning things at home. <laughs> Survivor guy says I still ask my parents stupid, obvious questions still. Her homework right now is like <laughs> practicing counting to 120 and counting by twos and fives and tens. And like she's she's like, had that since yes, last year. So we're learning down. how to inflate she's air mattresses. <laughs> um, right. I'm letting them have a sleepover because they're lonely and I'm just like fine. Hey, could be worse problems, right? Our kids enjoy <laughs> spending so much time together, they want to spend even more time over. That's why he was upset. He's like, he's lonely. He's lonely. He's fine. Joseph is, he's our precious, sensitive boy. Um, um, how's the Goulet Crew Inc. review project going? Yeah, it's going well. It's going um, along. Some of us have been more productive than others because some of us have kids, and, um, you know, I know one of us. Not me. I'm not naming names or anything. Like, hasn't started because it just hasn't happened. And well, I think a couple of people haven't started yet. I don't know. I've done okay. ten or twelve so far, which I've been home for like four weeks now. That's not, so that's not not started, Rachel. I, I no, no. I've I've started. Other people haven't. Oh, I'm not naming okay. names. I don't want anyone to feel bad because I shouldn't. Because like it's been really hard being at home with with kids or even not having kids it's just yeah and it wasn't everything's like, been hard it wasn't it's not like required. we had hard deadlines for these things it was like if you have time and i haven't seen them because everyone's like keeping them and then when all this is done we'll send them and get scanned in so that Absolutely. sounded really bad i'm really sorry i'm not trying to make anyone feel bad because it really shouldn't you're trying to be sensitive about it but the way you phrase it made it sound so much worse <laughs> i know i'm sorry i'd be like yeah there's a lot of people some people haven't had as much time other people have yeah adrian how are yours going <laughs> <laughs> She's in Adrian's here. calling Drew out. Oh. She's managing a lot with. Oh, son. she's calling Drew out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, uh, I'm. I. There were like ten of us on this project, and I. I think maybe three of us have started. So it's. We'll we'll get it done at some oh. point. Some of us are gonna be home for June. Adrian's done eight. Props to Adrian. Nice. Um. Okay. <laughs> I've done zero. If that means anything. Well, you weren't assigned to any, but I have a bunch. You, I'm not part of the project. You can be. How many interviews have I done to date? Though? Well, fine. A bunch. All right. A bunch. Um. The, 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 there was a question. If you're try, if you were somewhere and someone was trying to write something but didn't have a pen, and you had a Metropolitan or a Homo Sapiens, which would you casually hand them to write with? The Metropolitan. The Metropolitan. <laughs> that's a is, that, is that an obvious question? <laughs> it does take a lot more time. I know. Uh, it really yeah. does. You need like a Q-tip, and you need like a wet Q-tip. It's it's all. Actually, whole thing. for me, that answer would depend. It would depend my relationship with that person. If I was, uh, you know, which would you casually hand them? Casually hand them? Okay, it would be the. There you go. Yeah. What other questions do you guys have? I think I think we've answered everything. Yeah, I think uh, I did want to ink up the Kyrados and write go ahead. with the medium. Go ahead and ink and them up while we're fine. talking. We don't have the extra fine yet. We. Yeah, so we got the Kyrados in. Um, we had them for sale. 
but I haven't done like the official Nibduck writing samples for your ability to compare because we don't have the extra fine. And now, especially that we're remote, it is kind of a lot of effort. We're mailing a lot that. of stuff back and forth and yeah. Yeah. Our photographers right like, now are amazing. Glenn and Alex um, are two are photographers. Rocking, rocking the Alex house. just started with us, what, three weeks, two weeks ago, three? I have no sense of time right now. It's just third week, I think. Um, I and they're one shooting in their apartments and they're figuring out their light setup and like they're getting super creative, but they're producing some really nice photos right now. So you got to make over there. Yeah, what do you need? Pick me something you like. Uh, I brought over all the sailors. I'll give you something you like. How about Sky High? Sky High is good. I think that's what I had in the um, the other sailor. But give me something interesting. I've used Sky High. Give me something I've used. This is for writing? This is just for fun. For now. For right this video. Right, okay. right now in this video. Right now. So um, I have my medium here. Which I believe this one I have inked up with Noodler's Black. Sailor. Yes, Glenn is a rock star. Oh my gosh, this one's all dried out too. Oh no, this we are not way. prepared. Would you say sailor inks are wet or dry? I would say... It depends. Medium to wet. Not dry. I would say it's somewhere in the middle. Yeah, it's kind of in the middle. They're not like gushing wet. No, no, some of them are. Some of them I have had gush. So here's the thing. Rachel, They're all different. I... Need to clean this out before I can okay. With so it we can't do this tonight. Darn it! This was like the one of the two bullet points that I had for it's this okay. video. Okay, we I didn't. Dear, what's um, the second part of our first value? Uh, <laughs> be honest. <laughs> Sorry. Work hard. Be honest. Be flexible. <laughs> I'm like. I'm I, you out am I not one. being honest? I feel like I'm being, I'm really putting myself out there right now. I think you said the wrong thing. I, yeah, I've been spending way too much time with you. Third part of our first value. How does that come around to be blaming me? Oh my god. What's the third part of our first value? Be flexible. And that's what we're being. I'm being honest. That's we right. are sometimes a hot mess and we're making it work. Kind of. So We're trying to make it work. So the thing is, I can if you can fill time for like one minute, I can go clean this. I can fill time. And then I can ink both pens and have something of substance to show <laughs> in this video. Is lubricated ink super necessary on a piston filler? Nope. No. It's not even necessary. It's a nice to have if you prefer it. It's not required by any means, but some people enjoy how it writes. He won't always be blamed. I give him a hard time. He, I can't believe I did that. I feel really dumb, actually. So I'll just be here. I'll answer your questions to the best of my abilities. Not all at once. <laughs> okay. I know. I poke fun at him all the time. He can take it. I wouldn't poke if he couldn't take it. We are real, <laughs> hot mess and all. We are real, we're authentic. We've been together for over 18 years, so. 18 years. It's okay. not that long. Um, no, we're not, we're not planning coming. to bring Ink Exploration back. It was, it was a big production. Um, I do like the idea of reviewing inks, um, and especially with this ink project, once it's all done and scanned, I could definitely see doing something with it, and also doing videos with ink but not inspiration in the form it was in. I'd rather promote more inks rather than one ink a month. Um, so I'm it, was, gonna, it was a cool concept, but um, we've kind of retired that. Um, I'm gonna show you all how this cleans. So you pull it out, it's a nib unit like so, like a oh. vanishing point if you're familiar with it. See, now I have good questions, now you're here. Go for it. So I'm gonna, I brought two cups of water. One is gonna Can be my- Can like show what you're doing here? Yeah, doing? that makes more sense. Um, it's not a clear cup. But basically, I'm just, their, like, faces I'm just like flushing and filling um, like so. So it's going to be pretty dark because this is Noodler's Black in here. Which it's, is what uh, you use for all your nib nooks. It is. That's why it was That's why it was in here. And uh, when did we shoot this video? February. So it's a couple months. It's a couple months in here, which is not too unfamiliar with me. Now, one thing I haven't tried. I don't know that you could use a bulb syringe with this thing. 
I brought a couple bulb syringes. This is the first time I've actually cleaned out a Kyrados um, like this. So let's see. To remove the, okay, hang on. It's like the me, question twist. Oh, yeah, okay, no. So that has to come off. Mm -hmm. um, then it's got a regular converter like this. So it's a little interesting with the bulb syringe. So I'm going to try soaking up the water. And I guess if I like insert the post into the bulb syringe, sometimes you got to get a little creative. And, oh, yeah, there we go. That like seals actually quite well. There you go, bulb syringe, cured us. There you go. It's going to make me have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Everyone here is like, ah. Uh, um, OK, you get the I can, idea. I can answer some questions while Bryce. Um... While I'm tinkling over here. <laughs> So inappropriate. Um, this is what you get at 9.30 at night with Brian. So someone asked about the wish list. I do want to talk about that real quick because there's exciting things happening with our wish list. Um, so the question was, do we have access to people's wish list and have any cool data about that? Um, so the answer is yes. I don't have any cool data because um, I just haven't looked because I don't, I just haven't. But um, we are migrating to a new wish list program. That's another... This happened last week. I feel like I have trouble saying wish list. Wish list. You're not having trouble saying these things. <laughs> it's You're a, having trouble hearing yourself saying that apparently. I, I'm getting like it's caught up in fun. my head. Um, we're migrating to a new wish list provider. Um, so they actually downloaded everything as of Monday, or was it yesterday? This yesterday. Yesterday they didn't export. You know how many rows of data it was? Many. And this is just people who like registered and like. What is a row? In. What's in a row? A row is a product per person. Like an individual like SKU. Mm -hmm. product. Oh my gosh. Do you want to guess how many rows of data there were? 400,000. 490,000. That was kind of close though. <laughs> kind of. Like. <laughs> you had the right number of digits. But yeah, there's a lot of wishless data. Um, so we're migrating to another provider because we've had some issues with our current one. We call it the zombie wish list because um, sometimes when people delete something, it just keeps reappearing on their wish list, like comes back to <laughs> back life. From the day. Yeah. So we call it the zombie wish list. Yes. Um, so it hasn't been super reliable for that reason because, like, if someone wants to share their wish list and there's stuff on that that they don't want anymore, they already have, they haven't been able to rely on that. So we wanted to get it done in time for the holidays. It didn't happen. And then um, we had to go through all kinds of testing and other priorities, but we're, um, it's all tested. It's all built out. We are migrating all the wish lists now. So everything as of yesterday, if you add it to your wish list, will be migrated to the new system, which should go live early to mid next week. Um, and if you're adding stuff now, unfortunately it won't, you might have to add it again, but definitely check your list after we send out the announcement and make sure you take your zombies away. Um, <laughs> take, take your zombies with you. <laughs> take the zombies away. Um, but the new system will allow you to create like multiple lists. So you can like divide your stuff into like my grill pens, my everyday pens, or like Such pens I want for Christmas or whatever. Um, and you can share those lists with different people. Um, and there's better like add to cart functionality. There's better sorting. Just it's just better, and it won't like you know add your deleted items back. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like such a basic thing. So to the question, so it's up to you. It's, it's all going to be automatically imported. So if you want to start over, I'm sorry. Um, you can delete them all after they're migrated. Um, or, you know, you can work off your existing list. And they Whatever won't you come back from the do. dead. And they won't come back from, well, they're, 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 they'll still be alive until you kill them. But once you kill them, they'll be dead. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Let's take that quote out of context. And Yes, I'm really sorry for all that. It, like, this has been an issue for like two years, and it took a long time to figure out what was happening. And then the app developers were just not, they, they ghosted me. So I got zombies, I got ghosts. Like, it's just not great. So we're migrating to a new system that I'm very excited about. So we'll announce next week when that is all live, and that's really exciting. So the question of have we ever thought about choosing a random person and taking something from their wish list and sending it in an order up to a certain price point, that would be very cool. I want to make sure there aren't zombies so that they're not getting things they don't want anymore. But I like the idea. Or like a contest, like win your wish list, you know? That would be cool. That would be really Up to cool. a certain value, of course. If you're putting yeah. like Namiki Seven Gods on there, like... Some people uh, have some very... Um... Grail aspirational wish list. Yes, say. some people use their wish list as like a temporary cart, like a long term shopping sure. cart, Makes and sense. other people use it as more like 
things I like, but they wouldn't actually purchase. So yeah, it's like a Pinterest board. Yeah, pretty much. Some sorts. So um, I'm, I would love to pull some data once it's all like migrated and cleared out and stuff. Yeah. So that's what is happening with the wish list. So look for um, announcements from us next week. We'll send out email blasts and stuff and let you all know what's going on there. Yeah. So. What's our opinion on coded pens and do you think you'll ever sell them? I, I think they're it. cool. They are not ready for retailers. It's a I, capacity issue. I think I them. heard they're taking a break or they're- They stopped taking orders for like a year. They're like a year behind. Yeah. So that was before the COVID stuff. Right. Happened. So they are not coded COVID. Uh, they're not in a position to sell to us, but we would, we've been talking to them. They know we're interested. Um, so we're just kind of, Waiting to see when they have the manufacturing capacity to uh, handle our volume. So I'm going to fill the Kuridas. Um, Should I use the same ink in both, in both pens? Yeah, both that, would, that would be even. Otherwise, you know, if something writes more wet or dry, you, know, you want it to be an even comparison. That is true. Um, but again, like having separate wish lists would be really cool. I'm just going to show how I fill it. So it's a cartridge converter pen. I'm using it with a converter. So it fills just like any other cartridge converter pen. Submerge the nib. Fill you're the still pen. waiting on your Conid you placed in July of last year. Yeah, yeah they're, they're super very behind. behind. They stopped taking new orders because they were so They need behind. to catch up. Yeah. I want to make sure I got all the questions. I feel like I missed some. You definitely some. missed a couple. We missed a couple. Okay. Do you pursue brands or do they pursue you? Um, a little bit of both. Goes both ways. So there's definitely some that we've reached out to. Um, sure. Sometimes it goes well, sometimes it doesn't. And then there's brands that reach out to us. Again, sometimes it's a good fit, sometimes it's not. So that part locks in. But it goes both ways. And then you screw on the back. Since stubs are not tipped, would a gold nib stub wear out faster than a steel nib? What a what? Since stubs are not tipped, yeah. would a gold nib stub wear out faster than a steel nib stub? Um, as far as I know, everybody making gold nibs today tips their stubs. That's true. The last one I knew that didn't was Omos, and they are resting in peace. Um, what are the differences? And they did have issues with the tipping. What are the differences between the different Sailor ink lines? Um, I actually cover that a little bit in our video review. But there are like so much the differences, but this is um, part of the Manyo series, which is an overseas exclusive. It basically means it's available everywhere but Japan, which is a really interesting concept. It is. Um, it came out in November of last year. There are eight colors, which I have right here. Woo! Um, my favorite is Haha, -ha, and it's out of stock, and I'm sorry, um, but the Neko Yanagi is also another favorite. They're, they have a, a crazy shading, um, and um, a lot of these, this one has really nice sheen on um, sorry, just gotta show off my on certain paper. Here. This is a, Still is on the converter, a Kibi, a Kebi. I apologize. You should know how to say it. I don't speak Japanese. Um, I don't, don't want to be mind. like insensitive. Like I, I really wish like I did a better job pronouncing things. Um, I just. I mean, don't, how are you just supposed just, to like know? I just right? don't know how to say everything, but I know it's pretty and I like it. Um, other questions? I feel weird like not having my face in here. Sorry. Um, any easy, back up, any just sure that it easy right. way to clean out fluids that get stuck in the demonstrator sections for sailors doesn't want to dry. Do Clean it. out fluids that get stuck in the demonstrator sections for sailor. What demonstrator section? Oh, that. like the section, like the grip section? I don't understand the question. Like, um, do you have like the clear sailor? Uh, yeah. Oh, like in the... Like if ink is in the grip section. Oh, uh, I have not like disassembled these things really. So like the housing, the grip here. If ink gets in there. Which it, it will, it does on every pen, I'm sure. You just don't always see it. How That's the truth. Can you disassemble it is a good question. Some pens, you can take them apart. Other ones like Custom 74, like you just can't. This one seems a little less disassemblable. Yeah, you don't want to avoid warranty one. either, so. Yeah, usually companies don't like smile upon you trying to yank apart the pens beyond what they put in their instructions. I'm not seeing how this exactly would just pull out. I wonder if it unscrews. The nib unit unscrews? The nib and feed pulls directly out. Well, I know that, but that doesn't that help, doesn't help get in between. I don't 
don't know if you can unscrew that. So there's not an easy way to do that. I don't know. Would you recommend getting a Homo so sapiens with the new gold nib or still snag a palladium nib while there's still some left or does it not make a difference? Depends on the nib size. Our opinion is most, for the most part, it doesn't make a difference that in how it writes. Um, are there certain nib sizes where you feel it does make a difference? Um, the medium nib is the one you'll notice the biggest difference. How so? Uh, on the palladium, it is wetter. Okay. So there you go. So if you like an incredibly gushing wet nib, and the broad is a little bit too, but it's it's more no, We haven't seen the broad yet. Have we not used the broad any? has not transitioned Yeah, okay, yet. you're right. Sorry, uh, I misspoke. <laughs> um, Will the midi ever come back? I don't know. I do not know. I don't know. It's discontinued a couple years ago. I do not know. You can twist and pull. It takes a bit of yanking. Twist and pull the grip off? I don't know if I just want to go yank. Well, this is how it goes. Like, we don't get instruction on how to disassemble these things. I basically have to go until I feel like I'm going to break the pen. And sometimes I just don't feel comfortable so, doing that. Or sometimes so I'm just you like, break the pen. So I'm just like, yeah. Or some, yeah, sometimes I'll break it. And then I'm like, well, there is a few hundred dollars down the drain. And then we shoot a video. And yeah, like our uh, safely replacing a Lamy feed video, you know, because sometimes you learn things like, the hard way. And we've had many of our team members that have not so safely replaced a Lamy feed. <laughs> Not that I ever did that. All right, so have you, are these pens inked up? Pens are now inked. All right, I just so now you I, your writing sample. So I, <laughs> this is officially the longest inking of a pen ever done live on video. I just wanted to show because the Kumpu is like legendary amongst platinum. Uh, and I wanted to show the new, what do they call it? Dark green? Urban green. Urban green on the Kyrados is close. Put it like not in front of it's your It's a little shirt darker. Like My shirt is also a similar teal. Again, worst way to color represent a pen ever, but it's pretty darn close. Yeah. So if you really like the color of a Kung Fu, you're going to like the green. green. is, yeah. A little darker. A little darker. A little darker. A little darker. Very similar. Still. All right, let's do these writing samples. Not a bad substitute. Okay. So I, have a I don't, don't want to go past an hour here. That's just excessive. How do I remember color names and stuff like that? Memory. I have a gift, except I couldn't remember the order of our company values, but well, I have a really, really good memory. And he doesn't, so together we make a great pair. Who doesn't? I'm kidding, I was trying to make a joke. That was more about a listening than have a memory. I also have issues with that. Well, uh, Platinum Kyrgyz, ADD, you'll do that. Um, this is a fine name. Is there something like a Vanta Black ink in development or even possible? I haven't heard of anything. I believe Vanta Black is a trademarked right. thing. So they would have to license it. License it somehow. I haven't heard of anyone trying to do anything with it. No. Yeah. That would be sweet though. Okay. Um, He's ready. Can't multitask. <laughs> Probably over 900. How many pens he owns? It is over 900. But, the, you know, they're mostly for company use. And yes, if he has like two ink collections at work and at home, it's mostly at work with like a couple essential bottles at home. But right now we brought a lot more ink home because we're working from home. What was the other pen we held up next to the Kyridos? That was the Platinum 3776 uh, Century Kampu, which was um, two summers ago, 2018, was the limited edition um, mm -hmm. pen. So it has these really cool swirl uh, pattern through it. And this thing was just so hot. It sold out so quickly. Um, and it's kind of been revered as like the legendary Kampu. Um, I don't know what this year's color is going to be. So they do a limited every year. And I don't know what this year's going to be. I'm just, my, I'm screwing this up. Have we tried the Sailor's Sailor's blue ink that's in the coming soon section? When will that land? That's a good question. Um, I think the end of April. I have not heard. Um, I've not seen it in real life yet. Just seen those pictures. So I don't know what the ink actually looks like. Um, but I'm sure it'll be nice. Will the Curious ever be available in broad? Um, it's not currently made in broad. I can't say ever, but um, they don't do a lot of broad with uh, with platinum. I don't know of any broad steel because the 
Plazier, the Procyon, the Preppy, they don't make a broad in those. So I don't know. I'd be Probably surprised not. if they did it. Do we still do thank you notes on request? Um, yeah, upon request, we, we if we can accommodate. We'd well, right now, that's going to be really challenging. Well, actually, some, some people are doing some of those. Well, we that's, back, true. But, that's true. Um, we'll do our best. We'll absolutely do our best. I don't know how useful this actually looks. They look kind of so, – well, I can see in, They're, like, the squiggles, I can see the difference. Not so much in the – writing but i can see it more there they're both uh probably just have to explain a little bit more um the feel of them is very similar on the page um to me it feels like the medium is not quite as wet it feels yeah, like it's a little closer it feels like a little closer to a fine um i think the more or less the nib size like the the writing um is kind of similar between like a preppy or a, a plazier yeah I think they write similar to other platinum steel nib. Yeah, it's just not a huge difference between the fine and the medium I see so it. much. Especially in the words fine and medium. It is, like it's a little it wetter. It's a little wetter. Perhaps. It's not huge though. But it's, not, it's not a world of difference. Some, on some pens, like on the Pilot Vanishing Point, for example, there's a much bigger gap between a fine and a medium. This one is just not as much. So. You know, I think if you are looking for just a good all-around nib, the fine nib is the way to go. If you like it a little bit wetter, go with the medium. But either way, you're going to be pretty happy with how it writes, I think. Um, Sarah's question, oh, Scott says May. May for the Sailor Sailor. So we'll see it in May. Yeah. Uh, Scott knows what's up with that. Um, how is our Postman UPS FedEx reps handling delivering to our house? Um, it's touchless, so we don't sign. Um, you know, I'll see them, and we'll kind of wave, and they'll drop it off, like, you know, on our at a respectable like, distance. Yeah, like at the driveway or like in front of the door or something. And then we'll, you know, wait a little bit, bring them inside, wash our hands. You know, we're very careful about um, touching, you know, Recognizing. the things. Yeah. So, but yeah, we don't have to like sign or touch each other, and keep mm -hmm. our distance. Will there be separate nib units available for the cure desk? Um, Not to my knowledge. I haven't heard of anything. And Platinum actually doesn't make any nibs separately available. Mm. So I would say no. Um, I think that's all the questions that we're yeah. getting to an hour. So I think we'll call it a night. Cool. Hopefully we got through everything and y'all got your questions answered. Um, thank you to everyone who's watching this later. Um, I hope you can join us live next time. Um, yeah, the Lamy Safari should be here tomorrow. Um, that is, it's currently, it, it arrived to the distributor. They got through customs. Um, it kind of got split into two shipments. So there's like a couple nib sizes we won't have tomorrow. I think the mango, like we're only getting an extra fine, but the fine and medium, the rest is like a week behind. Um, that's the latest I've heard. So we will be launching tomorrow the Lamy Safari candy in the three pen colors and the mango ink. Mm -hmm. Um, but again, if there's a nib size missing here and there, or maybe it's the violet, that's only an extra fine. Don't leave yet before you go. Don't leave a lot of people saying, thank you. That you're welcome, but don't leave yet. I have one more question for you. Oh, um, so tomorrow. And again, if we're short a nib size or two, just wait a week. We'll have it. Um, and we'll ship as soon as we can. So it's coming. There you go. My question for you all for the most hardcore people that are sitting here in minute 58 of this live video. Um, Rachel and I have toyed with the idea of doing this broadcast at a different time because it doesn't have to be at nine o'clock at night because for one, we aren't like working our normal day. Most people are day. in an office job Like either. most people you know, have more, more flexibility throughout their day than usual right now. And also- It's um, also too late for our European folks. Right. Uh, but also we used to do it at nine o'clock because we put our kids to bed and then we'd be They're free to do it. Clearly now not. it's like pushing our kids bedtime back even further. So even no, they were in bed, but now they're not, it doesn't matter. Bedtimes are just not, well, yes, bedtimes are not that. a thing right now, but it makes it for a later evening for us. So my question is, you know, could we consider doing this at a different time? Maybe earlier Being in the day. Being mindful of the West coast too. Like maybe it's sure. two o'clock in the afternoon. Sarah's still working full and long days. You do lose the rhyme, yes. Yeah, I know. The, the, the rhyming is so nice. Or we could try alter. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to like keep jumping the time around, but yeah. we could try. I don't know. We'll think about it, but you all think about it. Post, Let in, us know post, in, the post in the comments. We'd love to know what you think. Or those who are watching later, you're watching this, um, excuse me, pre-recorded ice cream there, um, pre-recorded because you couldn't make it live. Yes, what a different time help make it so that you can watch. Okay, fair enough.
Cool. Well, we'll think about that. I just want to get that out there. I don't know. We, we've never really done it at another time other than the first ones when it was originally Ustream Tuesdays at 222. And no one joined because it's middle digit, of the workday. We had single digit people that joined and no one knew who we were. That's also true. It's hard to know um, which which is which. Right time, anytime. Yeah. There you go. Anytime's the right time. Evening is best. Well, I would figure anyone who would be here right now would say that this is a good time because well, sure. they're here right now. But that's still, anyway. Cool. All right. Well, that is it for the evening. Thank you all very much. We love and appreciate all of you and your support right now. It truly means the world. And we're able to support our team very yes. well because of the support you all have for us. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Stay safe. Wonderful right. evening. Thanks for joining us. Right and on. Right on.